In ALM Octane, we believe that quality is everywhere. There is no designated module for storing tests, neither is there one for running them. As a tester, you can create tests and contacts and run them from different places. In addition to that, we understand the tests can run anywhere, in CI systems by custom frameworks out in the cloud. Our job is to bring all the test results into one place, analyze them, and provide the insight that you need in order to manage the quality of the product you're building. In this demo, we'll be looking at ALM Octane from the tester's perspective and see how he can efficiently create new tests to cover the requirements and run them. Then, we'll see how we help the quality owners manage testing and automation efforts and balance their testing strategy to target both new and existing content. Let's look at the life cycle of the testing in ALM Octane. As a tester, I just got a task to test the requirement or feature or user story. Whatever methodology you choose, traceability is built in. Let's say I have a requirement. It is not yet covered. I'm creating a test to cover that requirement. I can similarly work from the backlog module. Let's add a test from the backlog. I have a feature. Let's add a test to cover specific user story. Authoring a test has never been easier. We support the simple markdown format with a few types of steps. We have an action step, a validation step, and an option to reuse and call an existing test. The test is actually a file, stored in and versioned in an internal GIT repository so you can always see which changes were made, compare versions, and run a previous version by selecting the associated release. Let's look at the versions dialog. These are the versions that I created. I can compare those. If you have a review process for manual tests, you can use the phase transitions to advance in the workflow. Once the test is ready, I can run it. Let's run the first test. I can mark the steps as passed or failed. And I can report the defect for every step. Let's report a new defect. Once I finish running the test, I can see the run in the Runs tab. I can go to the run itself and see the link defects in the relations. The feature coverage will be updated accordingly. Now that I'm done with the acceptance testing, I would like to add this test as a candidate for regression testing. Naturally, this test covers an area in my product. I can now link the same test to an application module. Let's go to the quality module. In this module, I can see my application module hierarchy. This is a timeless cross-release representation of the product I'm testing. I can review the modules and see which areas are covered and what is the status. I'm responsible for a few of the areas. Let's select the areas that interest me specifically. I can see the tests, features, and defects that are related to this module. For tests, I have the latest status in different configurations. The latest status is composed of the latest transit tests in different configurations. Some of the runs may still be planned. I can quickly filter by browser to see which tests failed, on Chrome for example. Automated tests are presented here as well. They're automatically mapped to application modules based on the mapping rules you define. Let's add a simple rule based on the package name of the test. Once all the tests are mapped correctly, I have a good view of the coverage of the module and its quality. Let's say that I'm a test lead. I would like to run some regression testing on certain areas. There are dozens of those and my resources are limited. So, I will use the Quality by Application Module widget to help me focus. In the dashboard, I have this Quality by Application Module widget. 
I can see that this area, which has changed a lot in the last release, judging by its size, has a lot of defects and low coverage. Let's create a regression suite for this area. I'm selecting the test that would be a good match for this suite. Let's filter by regression test type to find the relevant tests. Select the tests and create a new suite. The suite is ready. Now, let's plan a regression event. I'm clicking the Plan Run button. A suite run is created in plan status. I can now update individual runs with the tester name and the environment. Now each of the testers can see the tests they should be running in the My Work view. This view was designed specifically to present only the work items, tests, and run that I should handle so that I don't have to spend time looking for them. As a test lead, I can track the progress of the regression activity and see the reported defects. This widget shows the runs filtered by a specific suite run, and this one shows the defects associated with the suite run. Let's say this test turns out to be very effective and it takes a long time to run. I decide to automate it. I mark the test to be ready for automation. The owner will see this task in his ID plugin. When the automation is ready and running, I can link the manual test to the automated representation. And the status becomes automated. The automation efforts can be easily tracked. I can also track the overall status of my module by combining all sorts of test results. Let's create a widget that includes manual tests as well as automated tests for a specific pipeline. Seeing that all the runs passed is great, but how do I know whether test covers all the requirements? To help with this and improve the collaboration between all the stakeholders, ALM Octane supports behavior development. You can create your acceptance test using the Gherkin Index. This test can be run manually. Once a test is automated, it appears as such and you can see both types of runs, manual and automated. If the feature file was changed outside of Octane, the business analyst will see the difference and confirm the change. This way you know exactly what the automation covers at any given time. This was a quick overview of the quality and test management features in ALM Octane. Try it out to learn more.